Hello kids, it's vlog day, so put on your thinking caps because things are about to get sticky. Ever since man started making things, dumb men started breaking things, and the need for glue was born. Fun fact, glue actually isn't even sticky. So how does the glue work? Well here, let me explain. Gluing something together is a lot like making a peanut butter sandwich. You have the object that you're trying to glue together, and you have the glue. A piece of bread is much like the objects that you're trying to glue together. Not much adhering power, as you can see, but they are filled with tiny little holes, a lot like the objects that you're trying to fill. Glue is a lot like peanut butter. You see, glue is made up of tiny particles which are crushed and then held together with a binder. Peanut butter is the same thing. It's made up of crushed peanuts and held together with oil. When you apply peanut butter to bread, it's a lot like putting glue onto the object you're trying to glue. You see, the tiny particles in the peanut butter are going to fill the holes which are inside the bread, thus creating good adhesion as you can see. That peanut butter sure ain't coming off of that bread. So in theory, taking a buttered piece of bread and putting the other piece of bread onto it, they should stick together, right? Well, kind of, but not terribly well. And that's because the binder, the peanuts, have to actually force themselves into the holes on the other piece of bread as well. So we can do that by either applying way too much peanut butter to the one side of bread or applying a small coat of peanut butter to the other slice, like this. Now that we've applied peanut butter to both sides of the bread, they should easily find adhesion. Let's find out. Ah, like magic. Mmm, tastes like magic. And now you know the secret. You see, glue doesn't really stick to anything except for itself. The binder, which allows the glue to be in a liquid state, will eventually dry or evaporate, allowing the particles within the glue to cling to themselves. They kind of get lodged inside all the tiny little holes in the surface that you're gluing together. How porous the object is that you're gluing together dictates what type of glue you'll use. Smooth, shiny, and metal objects require a glue which has tiny particles that can actually fit inside the pores that are there. We use super glues for that. Large porous objects require other types of glues, glues with larger particles, like white glues and paste, the kind of stuff we used to eat in school. And there you have it, kids. The ins and outs of how glue works is demonstrated by this peanut butter sandwich. So I'll see you next time. And remember, keep those questions coming in, because if I don't know the answer, I'm sure as heck going to find them out. Until then, happy gluing! You sticky.